First question uh, for, for us, uh, taking a look at the, the eye of uh, Severe Tropical Storm Christine. We see it over uh, in northeastern Luzon near Isabela. Tell us what caused the near record rainfall over in Bicol yesterday. Yes, Gretchen, there are several factors that can shape how a storm makes an impact on a certain area. Good that you mentioned Bicol region. A few days ago, the storm was a little farther from land. So, dito siya, no? This is how Pagas explains it to us. You see this area marked in red? That's what Pagasa calls a rain band. They are, essentially, they are clouds that are encircling a storm, and these clouds bring rains over a certain area. So, again, kung dito yung uh, uh, Christine, no? it, it wasn't a severe tropical storm back then, uh, just a few days ago. Andito siya. So, nakatutok yung rain bands, the clouds are pointed towards Bicol region, and that is the reason why rains were tremendous over that area. Now, another factor, and this was mentioned by our chief of correspondence, Ed Lingao, the topography of uh, the Bicol region, it's a basin, meaning uh, it's encircled by ridges, mountains, high, tall structures. And uh, as we know, when storms hit uh, tall structures, uh, and uh, this is a bit scientific, but please bear with me on this one, the clouds tend to compress. And when they compress, they become heavy. And when they get heavy, they fall down as rain. So, uh, yun yung dahilan kung bakit sobrang lala ng pag-ulan sa Bicol. At the same time, uh, the way Bicol is formed, again, mountains on the edges of that region, uh, the low-lying areas are right smack in the middle. So, Naga City, for example, uh, we saw the, the impact of, that, uh, of the storm there, uh, the flooding, Lampastao, hindi ba? Uh, be, it's because uh, it's right at, at the foot of a mountain. So, if there's a mountain, tapos andito ang Naga City, pagbagsak ng ulan, diretso sa uh, low-lying area. Uh, and then, that the same goes for other areas kasi nga, napapaligiran sila ng uh, ridges or ng, ng bundok uh, and that is the reason why uh, Bicol region in particular uh, experienced that kind of uh, tremendous rain brought about by now severe tropical storm, Christine. Brian, Gretchen? is uh, the formation of uh, these rain bands unusual? Uh, because uh, we hear residents saying that they haven't experienced this kind of flooding in 30 years. They're used to dealing with typhoons, but not this kind of flooding. Is it unusual or is it just the trajectory of uh, this specific uh, tropical storm? We spoke to Pagaso earlier, Gretchen. I spoke particularly to Weather Division OYC, Chris Perez. And he told me that the way the clouds form, uh, good that you observed that also, uh, na makapal ang uh, rain bands here. Uh, also a reason, by the way, uh, kung bakit it's not just Bicol region that, ex that has experienced rains, but also Luzon, Visayas, and parts of Mindanao. It's because uh, the, there merong hangin kasi rito, uh, that uh, makes it unfavorable for clouds to form over this area. So, siyempre, di ba, pag umihip ka, for example, if, if umihip ka, the tendency for, for example, if there's a smoke in front of you, the tendency is for you to blow it away. So, parang ganun yung nangyayari dito. Dahil may hangin dito, the tendency is for the clouds to proceed to this area, and hindi na masyadong umiihip kasi raw yung uh, hanging habagat. That's why, mas uh, kayang mag-form ng clouds over this area. And that is the reason kung bakit dito makapal yung, uh, yung rain bands and again, uh, eventually nga, the rains over Bicol region. Gretchen? We do, we do know that uh, Christine is just about to uh, hit landfall uh, Thursday, uh, Wednesday evening rather. So are we expecting the same amount of rainfall in other provinces affected by Christine, affected by those rain bands that you're talking about? Mm -hmm. If we're going to, to take on this question uh, from a more uh, scientific approach, uh, Pagasa says it's 
on a case-to-case -case basis. That's why it's difficult sometimes to compare. For example, kung ito yung nangyari sa Bicol region, maaaring ganito rin ang mangyari sa Isabela. Uh, it might not be the case, again, depending on how the clouds form. And second, the topography, which is already there. I mean, how uh, the mountains are formed, how the, the low-lying areas are formed. So it will affect how uh, the storm will make an impact uh, on particularly on Isabella, uh, on Isabella when it uh, makes landfall either tonight or tomorrow. But this we are sure of. So these are the areas uh, that Pagasa says will experience heavy rainfall today. So uh, intense torrential rains are expected over Cagayan, Isabella, Apayao, Aurora, Quezon. Papansin nyo, di ba? Nakapaligid sa Isabella. Di ba? And then we have heavy to intense rains. Uh, over the rest of Cagayan Valley, the rest of Cordillera Region, Ilocos Region, the rest of Central Luzon, Rizal, Camarines Norte. Ito, medyo malayo na to, no? But again, because of the thickness of the storm, the radius, uh, mas maraming lugar ang nakararanas ng pag-ulan. And so, that's why also, mahaba yung listahan dun sa mga lugar uh, which may experience moderate to heavy rains today. The rest of Calabarzon, Metro Manila, Mindoro Island, that's Occidental and Oriental Mindoro, Marinduque, Romblon, Calamian Islands, Camarines Sur, Catanduanes, Masbate, Albay, Sorsogon, and Western Visayas. For tomorrow, uh, since we are expecting the storm to move, Pagasa is expecting the storm to move somehow, uh, intense torrential rains are expected over Pangasinan, Zambales, and La Union. Uh, heavy to intense rains over the rest of Ilocos region, Cordillera region, and Bataan, and moderate to heavy rains in Cagayan Valley, Tarlac, Pampanga, Nueva Ecija, Bulacan, Metro Manila, Cavite, Batangas, Occidental Mindoro. Now, all these areas are based on Pagasa's last advisory at uh, 4 p.m. We are expecting uh, an updated bulletin from them anytime now. Uh, and uh, I guess th uh, this is the reason why uh, local government units, uh, actually it's not I guess, because uh, this is uh, from Pagasa, uh, that uh, local governments must already prepare uh, because uh, the Weather Bureau is doing its part uh, on advising people uh, about the uh, possible or impending effects uh, of a severe tropical storm, Christine. Back to you. Kung yung ibang bagyo hinihila yung habagat, itong bagyong ito hinihila yung mga rain bands uh, that you're talking about. And if one thing is for sure, uh, we have to brace for the heavy rains tomorrow. Thank you so much for that report. Reporting to us from Pagasa, News 5's Brian Basa.